You are now listening to the smooth sensations and high vibrations of Alex, host of the best relationship channel on YouTube. Alex, drop them gems on us. Man and his dating life, like what does that mean? Lil Dirk, King Von, y'all know, mm -hmm. uh, but nah. Dating life, I would say, the closer you fit to whatever the celebrity, the, the current rappers, like I said, Lil Durk, uh, what's the other dude, Quando Rondo, all those dudes, mm -hmm. the closer you fit to what that's, that stereotype, you like some yeah. girls will be, they, they'll just be down, especially black chicks. I was about to they say. They like that shit, bro. I, I think that mostly attracts black chicks. They, I don't know yeah. what it is, bro, but they like that. Mm -hmm. they, they don't like when a dude has it together. Like, I, I don't want to cut. Look, yeah, yeah, bro, and I don't want to say that because it sounds like I'm yeah. trying to bash, I'm not bashing black women, but it just is what it is. Yeah. That's been my experience. I attract I the most Latinas and white girls. Mm -hmm. That's what I attract. Yeah, same, same. I think because I have that professional clean cut R&B type of look, that's why I also mostly attract Hispanic and white women. And you guys be in the comments like, do you not like black women? I'm like, black women don't like <laughs> me. <laughs> like, black Listen, women don't. Man, in this world, you take, you, you get with, you go where you really want it. Yeah. Wherever you want it, that's where you go. Bro. I attract, I don't chase. Yeah, dude, so I comments. attract, you yeah. know, what's sent to me. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of Elite Fleet. And this is going to be a good video. I can feel it because I'm already turned up. And when I'm about to black out and I'm turned up, it's going to be a good video. Today, we're going to talk about Austin Dunham and Jackson Stack and them talking about how black women don't like them predominantly because there's not thugs. We're going to break that down. I'm going to tell you the real reason why a lot of black men, not a lot of black men, but some black men, struggle to attract black women that nobody's talking about because I know what it is but before I do that I want to break down a few things they said in this video that's complete cap and not true number one they said black women tend to go towards the thugs and the bad boys predominantly black women that is cap that's not true first of all I want y'all to realize how much the red pill contradicts itself because they say all the time oh women like the bad boys women like the Chaz, the Tyrone, the Pookies and the Ray Race so if women like the bad boys and it's not just black women who like the bad boys, then how can you say always oh, predominantly black women who go after the thugs and the hood dudes? That's cap. Let me tell you something. If you ever grew up in the hood or you know any hood dudes, they can get any chick from any race, it does not matter. If you think white girls not getting their back blown out by dudes from the hood, you're crazy. If you think Asian girls not getting their backs blown out by dudes from the hood, you're crazy. And if you think Latino girls aren't getting their backs blown out by dudes from the hood, you're crazy. First of all, all these people have their own hoods. You guys must not know about the Latin Kings. Don't tell me Latino girls don't like hood dudes. My dude, when he was coming up and he was going through school, he kept being bullied. He was going to join the gang. His sister had to go and join the gang with him to stop him from joining the game because he didn't want her to join the game. He wasn't joining no black game. He was going to join the Latin Kings. I repeat, he was going to join the Latin Kings. So don't tell me, oh, it's predominantly black women who like the bad boys. That's cap. If you got mob ties, you're getting all the white chicks. If you down with the triads, you're getting all the Asian girls. Any dude who got that bad boy swag to him is always going to get girls, especially in their young years. So stop it. You can't put that all on black women, okay? The next thing that was cap. You had Jack the Stack say, oh, well, black women, they just don't come to me like that. But Latinos and white women do. If Latino women don't think you're corny. Black women wouldn't think you're corny. If black women think you're corny, you're not about to convince me Latino women don't think you're corny. First of all, black community and the Latino community is like this. They're almost always right next to each other and they always rock together. I just told you about my mans. When he was going to join the gang, he wasn't going to join the black gang. He was going to join the Latin gang. He was going to be a Latin king. Y'all gotta understand, I'm from New York. You can't tell me nothing about Latinos. The Bronx was right next to Brooklyn. That's where all the Latinos was at. And they always banged with the black people. They got black swag. We both color. We tend to get oppressed in this country together. We have a lot more things in common than we have not in common at the end of the day. I go to a Dominican barbershop. I gotta go back to the Dominican barbershop. I gotta get lined up again. It's gonna be a Dominican who lines me up. So for you to sit here and say, oh, Latino women are attracted to me, but not black women. If black women think you're corny for whatever reason they think you're corny, Latino women are going to think you're corny too, 9 out of 10 times. One of my best female friends is a Dominican. Those of you who are subscribed to this channel, you already know that. One of my other good friends who's a female is Mexican. And let me tell you something else about Latinos, because I noticed online in the YouTube space, they like to say, oh, black dudes should go for Latinos. Oh, black dudes should go for Latinos. Let me tell you something about Latinos. 
First of all, I agree with them that you should go where you want to, okay? So if a white girl wants you, you want her, that's fine. Asian girl wants you, you want her, that's fine. You know, tomato, tomato, who cares? But let me tell you guys something since we always like to talk about statistics. There's no race in America that dates outside of their race over 20%. I repeat, there's no race in America that dates interracially over 20%. Therefore, no matter what race of women you like, if you're not the same race as them, you got a 2 out of 10 chance of finding one who's going to take you serious. Most Latino women are not taking black men serious. They'll smash you. They'll be cool with you. You know, y'all can have a fling, but a serious relationship, they're not going to do it, especially their first generation. My Mexican homegirl, for example, and my Dominican homegirl, they're first generation. What I mean by first generation is their parents actually come from the Dominican and Mexico. They were born here, but their parents weren't. So they're not about to bring a black man home. No, they're going to bring a traditional man of their culture home because that's what their parents and their family are going to accept. Now, if you get to the second generation, third generations, and down the line, you got a higher probability that they're not going to care. But again, still, statistically speaking, most of them are going to want someone in their own race. Most of our races want someone within their own race. So stop just acting like, oh, black man, you can just go to these Latinas. Unless you're going to go overseas and buy you a chick from a third world country looking for a green card, it's not about to be that simple to settle down with a Latina. Smash, sure, but settle down... Nah, that's cat. Now, I want to run to the next thing really quick before I give y'all the secret sauce of why some black men really do be struggling with black women, okay? Austin Dunham says some goofiness. He like, oh, well, because I don't got that thug image, black women don't really like me like that. I got more of that clean cut R&B image, so that's why they don't really like me. First of all, Chris Brown is an R&B dude, not a thug rapper, and we're going to use the industry because that's what they use. They're bringing up rappers like Lil Durk and stuff like that. Chris Brown, don't got a thug image. He sings clean cut R&B. Women love him. Don't no rapper get more chicks than Chris Brown. August Alcina, Usher, Trey Songz, I can go down the line. So to say you more of the R&B swag, clean cut, and that's why you're not getting women is crazy. At the end of the day, if there was a reason why black women might not be attracted to Austin Dunham, it's probably because he got that fag swag. And I am not saying that he's a member of the Fruit Loop troop, but I'm saying his eyebrows is always arched, his face is always greasy, he's always in the mirror, and he kind of talks like this. He got that soft Michael Jackson voice. Like, Austin Dunham comes off to me like Drake did at the beginning of his new album with 21 Savage. Austin Dunham probably came up to Jack and Stack and was like, Hey, Jack and Stack, can you do something for me? If there was any reason why black women wouldn't be attracted to you, it's probably because you come off as zesty, which is not going to bother white women because most white men are on that spectrum of sexuality. Let me give you guys an example. One time, I got awarded a free vacation from one of my jobs for being one of the top performers. We were on a cruise. I had a white roommate, my guy Brandon. I'm asleep. His friends sneak in the room. I wake up like, what y'all doing? They're like, shh. He's asleep. They get up, get on top of him, act like they basically about to put their stick in his mouth, and then they record it, and he starts thrusting it in his face. Dude wake up like, ah, ah, ah. That's the type of fruity stuff white dudes do that they think is funny. They be wanting to get pegged. They be wanting to get dominated. All types of stuff be going on, okay? That's a whole different world. So if you go over there and you talk like this, like Austin Dunham do, then yeah, the white women are not going to care as much, but the black women, they a little bit more used to a little bit more masculinity, a little bit more hyper-masculinity, if anything. So you go over there talking like this, can you do something? for me? Can you rich flex for me? They probably are going to be like, y'all ain't really feeling this cat like that. But now that we got all that cat out of the way, okay? Because at the end of the day, I don't have a thug image. I don't sag. I don't got tattoos all over my face. I'm not in no gangs. Now, I will say, I am from the hood, so I can get with the vernacular. I got a certain look to myself and a certain pop about myself. Like, I got kind of that face that always looks like a man unless I'm telling a joke, even if I'm not. And a lot of chicks like that. But I am by no means a hood dude. I went to college, got my education, I work a white collar job, I own white collar businesses. So at the end of the day, if you're a member of this channel, you already know, I have no issues really getting any women, but especially black women. You talking about a dude with over 200 matches on hands, over 107 matches on Twitter. You talking about a dude who's already posted evidence, just walking down the streets, talking to chicks, have no problem pulling them, have no problem getting them to be submissive. Now, what's the difference between me and dudes like Jack and Stack that Austin does and all these other dudes online who like to lie and cap and say, oh, black women only like thugs because clearly that can't be the case if I'm finding success and I am not a thug. Well, the difference is, just like they say, oh, the image of a black man is a thug, and that's why black women only like thugs, the image of a black woman is ratchet, so most black men only want to holler at ratchet 304s, a.k.a. hood rats. Now, I'm going to give an example. They use the industry, so I'm going to use the industry. You go up to the average black man and you say, yo, what black women do you think are attractive in the industry? They're not going to say her. 
They're not going to say Ari Lennox. They're not going to say Georgia Smith. They're not going to say Ella May. These are not the women who are going to pop in their head. They're not going to say Andy Ari. Okay? They're most likely going to say Megan Thee Stallion. They're most likely going to say Ice Spice. They're most likely going to say Cardi B. They're most likely going to say Sweetie. Now, what's the difference between these sets of women? Well, on one side you have feminine, nurturing, caring, submissive women, but better yet, women who don't just run around twerking, butt naked with a whole bunch of different colored wigs in their hair and are overly hypersexualized and more feminine, submissive, singing, traditional women. Then on the other side, you have the women with all the colors in their hair walking around butt naked, twerking, shaking their ass all over, talking all masculine, talking crazy, who are hypersexualized. And these are the women that typically black men want. You don't believe that? Let me take it out of the industry. When you watch red pill shows, when you watch typical men of spirit shows, what type of women do they bring out? Do they usually bring out suburban, college educated, or from a high earning family, black women? Or do they usually bring out ratchet ass IG models, ratchet ass OnlyFans models, ratchet rappers? Twerkers, strippers, stuff like that, monetized women. If you answer monetized women, you are 100% right. When Sneeko and DJ Academics went to a strip club right after they was going in on that one girl about supposedly being a thought, who was Kevin Samuels predominantly interviewing? He was interviewing Blue Jasmines. He was interviewing Britney Renners. That's not to say he didn't sometimes bring suburban women out of his show from higher earning families or educated women. But generally, when they do bring these type of women out, they make fun of them for being like that. Oh, you think you all that? You need to lower your standards. Da -da 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 but the difference is, they bring the other chicks on. You can't humble a hood rat. A hood rat is unhumbleable. And let me tell you guys something. Most black men like the hood rats. Now, I can understand it. I told y'all before, ain't no V-Box like a hood rat V-Box. Hood rats got the best V-Box in the land. I'm not even going to front. Not only do they have the best V-Box, they're the biggest freaks. When you clap a hood rat, a hood rat make it clap back. She throw it back. You like, yeah. She like, yeah. Y'all both getting at it. It's nothing like it. But at the end of the day, that's not the woman who's going to like you unless you're from the hood or you're a hood dude. Austin Dunham is not from the hood or a hood dude. Jack Ben Stack is not from the hood or a hood dude. So therefore, they holler at these type of women. Of course, these type of women are going to like thugs and bad boys. They're the female version of a thug and a bad boy. Young Miami type women. And y'all out here talking about some, oh, how come these black women don't like me? That's why I put out a video a long time ago where I said a lot of black men need to stop going for the young Miami types and they need to stop going for the her types. So let's talk about it. Just the same way y'all talking about how, oh, most black women like the thug type because that's what's on TV. Most of y'all like the ratchet ghetto type because that's on TV. What's the difference? I know a bunch of black women who can't even get black men to pay them no attention because they're not that type of black woman if we're keeping it a buck. I got one chick I used to date named Chase. She was ultra in the anime and Hello Kitty. She had Hello Kitty everything. I'm going to show y'all this just because I want y'all to know how serious she was. Yeah, she had Hello Kitty everything. She was all about anime. She was a major cosplayer, all that. She loved black men. Black men did not approach her. She's like, oh, they don't like me. They think that I'm weird. They tell me that I talk white. Da 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 da. Now, I guarantee you, a Jackson Stack wouldn't have no problem talking to her. Or Austin Dunham wouldn't have no problem talking to her. But they wouldn't talk to her because she don't have the big ghetto booty. At the end of the day, she don't got the bright colors. She not twerking around everywhere. She not carrying herself with that hood rat sweat. They don't want that. They want a black woman with that hood rat sauce, but they're not hood dudes, so they can't get that at the end of the day. Even if you look at someone like Baby Girl. Baby Girl grew up in an area predominantly surrounded by white men, okay? So there's certain things about the black culture, certain looks about the black culture, certain way that the typical black girl behaves, or at least that's portrayed in media, that she doesn't necessarily do. And she'll tell you, well, a lot of black men don't come up to me and approach me like that. Why? Because she doesn't look like the typical hood rat. I repeat, because she doesn't fit that stereotype, that Ice Spice, that Young Miami, that Sweetie, that Megan Thee Stallion stereotype, y'all look right past her. And this happens all the time, so the same way y'all complaining, oh, these women look past us, y'all looking past them. Because the image of the black man and the black woman is, oh, hood rat, hood chick, and oh, hood ultra thug, what, 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 what. So what are we really talking about here? At the end of the day, I'm tired of people acting like the black community just operates on this one microcosm where we're all one way. We are not all from the hood. There are plenty of black women who play instruments. There are plenty of black women who like anime, who like comic book stuff, who grew up in the suburbs, who got more money than you. I live in the DMV. There are people in DC. There are people in PG. There are people in Montgomery County, for example, who can go to whatever white neighborhood you grew up in or you lived in and slap with their wallet. 
I repeat, they go up to any white neighborhood you ever lived in, and they can slap them with their wallets. So to just act like, oh, only black women, only like hood dudes, or all oh, hood black dudes are hood dudes. What's the difference between saying black women only like hood dudes and a black woman saying, oh, well, y'all only like ratchet IG models? What's the, there's no difference. There's no difference. There, just like there's no difference between y'all saying, oh, all black women are unsubmissive. All black women are masculine. And them saying, okay, well, all black men are dusty and don't take care of their kids. See, y'all like to put everybody in these boxes. There's a spectrum of black people. There's not just one type of black people. For every one black girl who likes hood dudes, there's another black girl who can't even relate to that culture. She didn't even grow up in that culture. She's not even introduced to hood dudes. She's not even around hood dudes. So that's the one you need to be talking to. But that's not the one that was hypersexualized to you. So that's not the one you want. And that's what no one's talking about. And that's what we really need to talk about. So no, all black women do not like hood dudes. Black women like a variety of different dudes. Just like there's a variety of different black men, there's a variety of different black women. All right? Now, I would never come on here and say, oh, white women must not like black men. Because if there's one group of women I tend to have trouble with, it's white women. I don't really relate with white women like that. I'm cool with the white dudes, but I don't really relate with white women like that. Asian women, I got my lot. Latina women, got my lot. Black women, got my lot. White women, eh, we don't really connect like that. The only white women I get is when they just like, damn, you fine as hell, and they basically lay it up for me. But if there's anything outside of that, we probably not gonna really connect. Now, I wouldn't come out here and say, oh, white women don't like black men, white men don't like black men, unless you this or unless you that. Nah, because I know plenty of dudes who get white women like that. Some of my dudes, they grew up in white suburbs. They know how to talk to white women, so they get white women like that, even though they black. So just because I can't do something, I'm not gonna come online and be irresponsible with my platform and just be like, oh, it's white women, they don't like black men, blah, 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 blah. Because the problem with what y'all doing is, now a dude watches your video, you go viral, now any black dude who's not hood think, oh, I can't get no black women. When that's cat, there's plenty, an abundance of black women you can get without being a hood dude. An abundance. It's a tired narrative and it's an easy thing to say. People don't want to deep think on these platforms. They want to go with what's easy. I'm going to take whatever everybody else is saying and I'm going to just say the same thing. I'm not going to talk about what really happens outside. A lot of you dudes need to touch grass. And a lot of you dudes who are making content, y'all need to keep it all the way real and keep it all the way funky. And stop just backing off of, oh, what's everybody else saying? I'm going to just say the same thing. It's okay to be the contrarian sometimes. No, black women do not like only like hood dudes. Black women operate on a spectrum just like black men do. At the end of the day, like we don't want to all be called dusty. We don't all want to be called baby daddies. Do we have no reason to turn around and then say, oh, they only like thugs. All of them are masculine. None of them cook. None of them clean. None of them are submissive because it's cat. And I'm not the only dude who don't have these problems with black chicks. There's other dudes just like me. Most of them not online for various different reasons, but still, there's other dudes just like me. So no, that's cap. Black women like a spectrum of black men. Clean cut black men can definitely get girls. R&B style black men, whatever type of black man you are, you can definitely get girls. You do not have to be a super thug to get black women. That is cap. That's my thoughts on that, but I do agree with them that you should go where you want it. This is not a video trying to force y'all to date black chicks. That's not what this is about. It's just disrupting the narrative, the false narrative that you got to be a super thug, what, 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 to get you a black chick. You do not have to be like that. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.